My name is Andre uh, Nitzan Nelson. I am the head of UX to, uh, UI design at uh, Byton. Mm -hmm. And I will give you a little demo about uh, our uh, digital experience of uh, Byton. Okay. So what you look at here is what we call the Byton stage. You can see it, you may can, but it's very hard to reach. It's really far away. So yeah. this is obviously not a touch display. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, it appears quite high, but the reality is it's actually not. It's aligned with my eye line on the hood. So even without this display, I wouldn't gain any view range. Okay. Um, in other words, this display doesn't take any of my view range away. It appears also high because the IP goes pretty low. Hmm. Right? Uh, usually, you have your instrument cluster here and a pretty high uh, IP for your uh, glove box and all of that. So we've designed that very differently to get that space uh, back yeah. for digital surface. Um, because it is so far away, I need something like a remote control to interact with the system. That is why we have the driver display right here in front of me inside of the steering wheel. You can see uh, it does move when I'm steering. Right? Yeah. So it's stable. I don't have to read like this or anything. Yeah. I don't have to move my head at all. Um, speaking of that, this is all um, important to understand because it's part of our principles, eyes on the road and hands on the steering wheel. So hands on the steering wheel, if you look at that, you can see if I have my hands on the steering wheel, it's very easy to reach these buttons. Mm. Right? Uh, and on the right hand side, we have buttons they're only related to IACC. So if I press this button here, for example, you can see the color and even the form or the form factor of uh, the shape, so to speak, of my instrument cluster has changed. You can see it now, it shows my desired speed. I can change uh, the speed down to uh, 60, now the car slows down to 60 miles per hour. It shows my current consumption and the battery range and so forth. Mm. Uh, the cool thing is it's all in my uh, side of you. It's my eye line. I don't have to move my eyes much. I can see that very conveniently. I can even see the road very easy and I can drive now very safely. Mm. Um, the information underneath are actually provided by our sensors outside of the car. Um, so for example, we are simulating driving here on a three lane road. We have a few cars uh, around us and surrounding us and I can see even here cars they're out of my view range as a driver, okay. right? But the providing so me no here is a uh, motorcycle, for example, coming, and I would actually see it only now, but I saw it already much, much earlier because it was detected by my sensors, yeah. right? Yeah, you see it uh, this already is us, here, exactly. behind, yeah, exactly. behind the car uh -huh. here. Yeah. Correct, yeah. yes. So, uh, but similar to the arrangement of our hardware buttons, we also arrange these display, uh, uh, these uh, buttons here and icons on this display. Mm -hmm. So the most frequent applications um, are on the outside, so easy to reach, for example, maps or media. So let me open media for you, okay? If I open uh, media, you can see that the screen uh, now shows my media library. And because I haven't interacted with it at all, the list disappeared. If I now look on my driver display, you can see it transformed into a trackpad, similar to my uh, PC. Mm. Now if I move uh, my finger on this trackpad, mm. the space comes back and the list appears. Now I can tap and easily play a song. Okay. Super easy. These are mental models I'm already used to by either my remote control on my TV yeah. or on my laptop, my trackpad, for example, on it. Right. So how many seconds in idle mode does it take before it uh, disappears? It disappears after six seconds. Six seconds? Six seconds okay. is a global timeout. Everything I do, for example, I want to show you that. We have a uh, what we call a quick access. Mm. So similar on your iPhone, you can just swipe down and now we get quick access to, for example, the brightness uh, adjustment on your screen. Mm. Uh, or, uh, for example, I can lock this screen that you cannot interact with it. Uh, if I want to, or even the rear seat entertainment displays, yeah. if I want to have my kids not playing around with it, right. for example, or just changing the temperature in our car or the fan speed with yeah. just one finger and one movement. Really? It's an all-in-one uh, interaction. Yeah. So look, if I do not use that, after six seconds, the screen resets and it brings it back to where I have been, which yeah. is my media library. Right. Now, Let's play a song here really quick. 
Yeah, we also have more. We have, of course, hardware buttons. Easy to reach here on the left-hand side. I can yeah. play the next song. I can change uh, the volume very safely and easily. You can see that. Yeah. Right? Uh, but I can do way more. I can use hand gesture, uh, for example, to play my next song. Yeah. See that? Oh, you just do that. And I can scroll my list. Wow. And I can select that's, another song. That's cool. Like because you have, okay, you have one screen, two screens, with the big one there, yeah. and you have a third screen there. This screen is for you. Okay. This is the passenger. Oh, this uh, is the passenger display. screen, because okay. our goal is to provide the same exact experience to everyone in the car. So this is not driver-centric design. Right. I have the desire to provide an experience mm. for everyone the same. And the good news is, if you know how the system works, you don't have to relearn. It will behave the same exact way by using this display. Okay. So I give you an example. Currently, you can see that we're playing music because it is, um, can you see that? The reflection yeah. in the sun. Yeah, yeah. The, the now, now we got it, example. now we got it. But if you open, for example, uh, now the map, the map works in the same exact fashion like it does for me, yeah. right? If I double tap the map, the map appears in full screen. So we can either split the screen yeah. in half, so that you have your application, yeah. and I have mine, so, or we're using both the same. So I, as a passenger, I can decide to split the screen, mm -hmm. right? What? So, yeah. So that means, for example, if I ask you, hey, can you find the next restaurant? You can do it, and you just don't distract me because you take over. Yeah. I don't even have to look at the screen. I can pay attention, I can maneuver, and you would just go, okay, what do we want? A restaurant, so let me do this mm. here for you. Food, okay, now navigate, and done. There you go. Oh, yes. Three steps. It's and a sweet. The cool thing is, if we're exploring the map a little bit, I take the list away. Mm -hmm. Similarly, like I just showed you to the media, if I release the map like that, the list comes back. Comes back. Right? That gives you even more real estate to explore every detail on the map. Yeah. So and this was just the boring stuff. Yeah, okay. It's the fun stuff. Oh, so yeah. let's say we park. How about that? Because if we park, um, we have a full uh, app suite for you, uh, which appears now in full screen. Remember, we are parked right now. Yeah. Okay. Now, what if we want to watch a movie while mm -hmm. we, for example, charge? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can do that. But what we also can do is we can use our hand gesture to select the movie here right now. So come on, tell me, this is pretty cool, isn't it? This is very cool. So how about Terminator? How about it? Voila. Wow. And it's and very fast and smooth as well. It is. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want to close that, look at yeah. my hand. Let me try that. A fist bump. Fist bump. <laughs> if you like that, yeah. okay. Uh, but can you also customize the gestures? You can. Yes. Yeah. But what I, what you have learned right now uh, by using your hand gesture, you can apply to every application. Look at this. I'm zooming in on the map just by taking uh -huh. my hand. Wrapping it and moving yeah. it in and out, oh. right? Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to the fun stuff. Um, what if you wanna use the time while you charge, recharging yourself? So how about some meditation? Mm -hmm. Oh. All right. Now we can so, listen to beautiful music. Yeah. The ambient light changes. The, the seats maybe decline. You can feel yeah. the sweet at the seats. A little bit, you can change the temperature, of course. And if you're afraid that you fall asleep, set a time up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how, how, uh, what is the pixel resolution of the screen? It's uh, a 4K screen, actually, but the third of it only. So it means yeah. I think it's like 3,800 by. Um, what's this? It's like. Uh, I think it's 720 or 720. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So okay, it's a, so it's a cropped meditation. 4K screen. Yes, yeah. exactly. So the rest of the screen is down here. Yes, no. Right <laughs> down here, yeah. um, but what if you want to be productive? So let's say you're on the way in the office mm -hmm. and there is suddenly a conference call. So you embark or you charge. So we can still join. How about that? 
Oh, there we go. So these are my colleagues, hi, hello. my guys, and uh, now I'm joining this conference call. And I would believe that um, people choose this experience over being on the phone or yeah. even in the office because it's all shared. This yeah. here is maybe your last own little private castle where yeah. you can join the call, you can listen carefully, and you can present your work to your people. And your car has uh, 5G. Uh, exactly. Yeah. yeah. We have that. We're gonna announce our partner for um, conference call, but we also have included um, open APIs. For example, um, Garmin. If you have a Garmin profile, mm -hmm. which has a or provides an open API, uh, we are able to connect that with your Byton ID. So we become the IFTT uh, of the automotive industry. Oh. So we're connecting your profile, your Byton profile, with any of the profiles out there. Uh, with open APIs or uh, if we have a business relationship with these uh, platforms. Mm. For example, Garmin uh, will allow us to pull your data in here and mm -hmm. can be here displayed. Mm -hmm. So why are we doing this? Just think of a few use cases, right? So let's say you have been uh, hiking and you haven't achieved your goal and you're on a road. Now we can provide you a charging uh, location near a very interesting hiking spot, yeah. right? So you stop there, you charge your car, you walk out of your car, go on a beautiful hike, you come back, and you have achieved your goal while your car has been charged. Mm. So that is, I think, that's a very meaningful um, you know, offer uh, for you as a user, and I think yeah. uh, people are gonna appreciate that. You can also do fun stuff. You can connect uh, multiple profiles of other people who have done the same, and we can compare them. It's like, you know, hey, you know what, I still have a few steps to do. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna jump out here and then I'm gonna be better than you. Yeah. How about that? I have, you have a, yeah, I think I am, uh, I have about the same steps while, while here. Pretty much. See, yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> about 20,000 a day. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay, so this was fitness, this was productivity, it was uh, entertainment and yeah. so forth. Um, we have a game also in here it makes more fun before people we really shared experiences mm -hmm. uh, but speaking of that I would like to also uh, uh, highlight our um, um, developer platform we have kicked off because uh, we want to invite developers and other companies to um, you know join our journey and uh, to provide their services and let's work together and to enrich this experience even more and provide more fun to them. Yeah. so if you don't mind I would like to take a selfie at the end sure How about that and uh, we're with me, with, 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 with okay. these cameras are on the right and the left. These are RGB cameras. The, these cameras are in the car, which yeah. allows us to um, identify now, you. Now we see that it's live, that it's visible, that it's live. You know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Smile. Don't forget to smile. <laughs> Voila. So we're going to tweet it in the feedback online. It will come up there on the Twitter wall. Uh, okay. Later, it's currently offline. Because That's fine. Off That's but yeah, um, so I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea what to expect uh, when you yeah. have your car in 21. Oh yeah, and uh, Harman Kardon makes the sound I heard. Exactly, we have yeah. a, a premium partner for sound. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we have two different variations, yeah. a uh, lower variant version and a premium sound. Okay, so you can choose the yes. higher end the sound system uh -huh. if you want. For, yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah, that does all test this issue as you am. I'm uh, looking forward to, uh, to to reviewing the car when it okay. comes out. Yeah. yeah, we have, by the way, our uh, pre-production car is currently driving around this building yeah. for uh, investor um, uh, drives only at this point in time. But yes, we have already the first production cars coming out of our pre-production cars out mm -hmm. of our factory. Okay. Cool.